Okay, just doing a quick video on something called journal. Uh, that is, hold on, let's see if I can maximize my screen here. Uh, my terminal screen, and let's even do this. Let's go crazy with this. Uh, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get real big so you can see this nice and easy. Why not? Okay, so I have this program called journal. Um, and it just opened up Vim. So I'm going to do colon quit exclamation point to get out of there. Yeah, nothing safe. So journal uh, is a command that I can record notes and all kinds of stuff. So it's uh, command line journal, basically, is what it is. Um, so you need to install this. You should be able to use uh, pip install journal. And uh, you want to don't try to put it in an environment or shell or anything. Just to your root system because um, you're going to use this for your own notes. Uh, so pip install journal. And then when you when you do that, you just type journal. And... Um, Basically, you could say like, you don't have to have a, you don't even have a dash there. Like the simplest way, if I want to record an idea or a note or whatever, I could just say this is my idea, and I can give it. I really like to give things tags. So that's one of the powerful uh, elements of this journaling system. Is every um, note it gets time stamped, and you can also manually stamp it with some tag. So this is my idea. Um, let's say I want to call this idea one. Idea one. And it says, entry added to default journal. Okay, so let's say I want to recall this idea one. I want to remember what I wrote in my idea one. Um, so I would say journal at idea one. So like I wanted to save like a, a password or I, w I wanted to save uh, some any, any information. I, um, I can save it with a tag just by typing it in and then I can recall. Okay, so this gives me the timestamp, the day that I wrote this idea. It gives the text, which is this is my idea. And then it gives idea one. Now let's say I want to uh, add another idea. This is a uh, journal. This, <laughs> this is my other great idea. And I want to tag that with, because it's about ideas, I want to tag that with idea one. Now I can recall at idea one, and I got both. I got my both of these things. So this is actually how I like to uh, organize my to-do list for every day. I actually have one called today. These are the things I need to do today. And I have them all here. I have other ones, journal, at to-do, things I want to do, and this uh, journal at uh, even specifically not just to-dos, but my notes, like I'll have one on Git. So these are my Git notes. And if I want to add any note at any time to this Git uh, collection of notes, I just say journal at Git. Here is my new Git note. Um, take notice, I put a dash here. This is just my own thing. This is not part of the command. You could just... Uh, it could just be a blank space. So basically, you need a journal, and you need your tag, and your note, or whatever it is. Um, so I can also edit journals. Journal at, let's say, uh, idea one. Uh, I want to edit what's in this, uh, in all of these uh, idea one tags. Uh, oops, oh, I forgot to do the edit command. Journal idea one, edit. Okay, so this brings me to my default... Um, text editor, which you can set in the preferences. I have mine set to Vim. So if I'm using Vim, I can, you know, um, I can go in and try to edit one of these, or just I could edit this whole file. I could add some more uh, ideas. And then I, I just, uh, all I have to do now is save that. Uh, so I'm doing this in Vim, so I gotta go right and then quit. Okay, so I just made an edit to the idea one entries. And let's uh, recall idea one. And there it is, some more ideas. So we had the one that we added straight to the uh, command line, and the other one that we added straight to the command line, and then the, w the one that we added using our default text editor, which could even be a graphical user interface uh, text editor, like text or uh, pad or whatever it might be, or um, even um, uh, VS Code, I think. Something like VS Code, you could uh, edit this way. Anyway, that's journal. I hope you like it. I find it com extremely useful. Uh, at the beginning of the day, if I remember to, I'll open my terminal and I'll type journal at today, and I see instantly uh, what I want to do today, and um, what uh, and I can add stuff to what I want to do today. So um, the trickier part is actually if I f with this to-do list system that I use is that to remove something from um, the to-do list. Uh, it's a, it takes a little bit of manual work. So I can go to edit, I can journal go to edit, and it opens up my 
text editor and then you know i can either delete the whole line or sometimes what i like to do is i go to um if uh, I want to remove something from my to-do list because I finished it, I'll go in here and I'll add done. So I'll just change the tag to done. And that records, you know, that I finished this task. But there's a problem with it that it doesn't give me the, it only gives me the date that I recorded the task to do, but it doesn't, you know, automatically timestamp with the day that it's done. But whatever, that's just a small um, deficiency in my system. Uh, but anyways, I can save the file and then this will no longer be present in the at to date uh, uh list of uh, tags so i'll right quit so that was organized clothing oh wait i don't actually want to edit that i actually need to do that today <laughs> well not today actually that's maybe i'll just delete that i'm just going to delete that actually i don't need that in there okay now i'm going to save and journal at today uh, and then my changes will be made so that's kind of a it's not a super efficient way to take if you're using this as a to-do list it's not a super efficient way to like remove the uh, tags but anyway i hope this video allows you to see the power of this notate notating and journaling system you don't have to use it as a to-do list. You can use it for recording any kind of data. Um, if you have spaces in your data, like you want to record uh, anything with uh, some other uh, spaces or characters, you want to put quotations around it so you don't like, uh, you know, if you put quotations in the command line, it's not going to read anything in your string as a command. So um, let's say I want to say journal at today. Uh, this is an important uh, web address and then you know i put like all these characters in there http s uh, colon slash slash blah 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 it's going to have a hard time uh with this probably going to give you an error so what you really need to do especially if, if you're like recording a web address or you're recording uh multi-line notes you could either just go journal straight to your text editor that's what that's a good way to do it and then you would have to tag this at uh give this a tag so at uh at um uh today let's say and then we can write all of our text in here. We don't have to like escape any characters or uh, worry about quotation. We can put quotations if we want, whatever. It's just like a text document. So, um, But when we're doing it straight from the command line, we need to put quotations around any complicated kind of text that mixes uh, special characters with or, or uh, non-numerical and non-letter characters. Uh, we've got to put the quotations around it. So hold on. Let me quit out of this. No, we don't want to write anything. We just want to quit. Okay. Journal at today. Here is some... Um, Info with a, uh, I don't know, quotation mark and other characters that is not going to give me error because I put quotation marks. Oh, maybe I need double quotation marks there. Probably I do. Let's see if that works. Uh oh. So it didn't work probably because of the quotation marks. Let's try that again. So this might be something that you would have to just type journal and go into the editor and then give a tag. Let's today, um, here is pound percent a character. Hold that. Let's try that. It needs another quote. At least that got me through. Okay, so the journal was added. So you just got to be careful. Um, make sure you put anything complicated in quotations. That's it for this video.